This is ASAP Rocky. But my AKA is pretty flacco, you know what I mean? AKA if you don't like it, suck my dick, swag, swag. And I'm here with Complex Magazine, the trillest fucking magazine on the earth. Get money attic, I'ma get money tatted. Money in the attics, money in the stashes, money in the cabinets, stuffed in the mattress. Stay full of guns, more money up in that shit. Taz on a Tisa, Jeremy's got Adidas. Jeremy's got a Jeremy's got Jeremy's got Adidas. Keep two killers with me, keep two bitches with me, two guns with me. Yeah, I know who I'd be. I'd be. I think I've worn everything there is to wear. Too big, too small, every color, style. I mean, I've never worn a bra because I don't have boobs, but like, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, there's like no logic to that. Fashion is just so diverse these days. So you could come out with something like yellow and mix it with turquoise and <laughs> make something out of it. You might look like Bishop Magic Don Juan, but uh, you still be fly. It's all about attitude always, no matter what. Yeah, true indeed. Some can be average, mediocre, but if someone styles it in a certain way and like their attitude and the approach and everything and the way they look, the confidence, you can pull it off and make it look extravagant. I don't discriminate or like, you know, judge anybody. It's like, if that's what you chose to wear today, that's cool. Because I could really personally feel that I look really, 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 really great deep down inside. Like, and everybody could be like, yo, you look fucking retarded. Anybody that's passionate about fashion like me, yeah. like a kid, they can relate and they know, you know, what I'm talking about right now. Like, it, it's crazy. It's inspiring. I've had these when they had three tongues on yeah. them. Like, I mean it, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, it's, this is an honor. All my dreams are coming true. Every video I ever did, I've had just shit in it. And it wasn't, you know, it was just, that's what we do in Harlem. Yeah. Like, the kids are fucking with you. When people are really authentically loving it and wearing it, you know, then I feel like I'm really doing the right thing. I'm telling you, you, know, you need to just take a trip out to Harlem real quick. Like those army wings, uh -huh. forget about it. <laughs> forget about it. Swear, swear, swear. You know, sometimes I'll change clothes like seven times a day, but it's not a planned out thing. It's it's the way my mood's changed. Sometimes you just want to go head to toe and look mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's just different moments, different personality. For me, I go by mood, like mm -hmm. how I'm feeling during the day. Like, just because something is bad to one person doesn't mean that it's bad to another. So therefore, I look at it like it, it all depends on who you are as a person. It takes balls to be able to do something that's not common. There to be different, you know? So therefore, it's like, it's all about who you are. Are you a trendsetter or are you the others? Wait, what was the question again? I'm pretty hot. I'm <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I'm high as a kite. <laughs> my style is my style, and I only had that style. That's why it defines me. So I got first dibs. Shout outs to me. Shout, shout.